The purpose of this video is to orient you to WebMic Study Guide and how it will be used to facilitate your study in WebMic. So here is the first page of the study guide which you are required to purchase at the bookstore on the Columbia campus of the University of South Carolina. And on the right is the WebMic entry page of the program that hopefully you were able to successfully access and manipulate. Now this video will show you the relationship between the two. So in the WebMic study guide, uh, beyond the first few pages, uh, there's the table of contents. This reminds me to tell you that each of the lab exercises refer to a unit in uh, the study guide. Sometimes there are several units referred to in one lab. The first lab refers you to the WebMic information tutorial, which you should definitely go through and uh, do all that is instructed there. Beyond that, when you advance through the tutorial and you've completed it, some of the aspects that I point out in this video you'll be reminded of there. And then Unit 2 is simply a, a scheme for the histological diagnosis of tissues or differential diagnosis or you could say identification of a tissue when you have several that you are faced with or given a single image to try to diagnose what tissue that is. That's practical histology. Be able to recognize that, for example, this image here, the upper left image is stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium. And that this tissue on the right is connective tissue, the tissue in the middle on the left is skeletal muscle, tissue on the right and the nervous tissue it happens to be neurons in the ganglion. Then on the left down below is cartilage and on the right is bone. So uh, going on to subsequent pages beyond a short history of histology which is worthwhile reading. Uh, and then uh, looking at the scheme so that you can see that you have to have some basic knowledge that you build up by study before you're able to make an intelligent application of facts and images and patterns in order to make these distinctions. So that's what that's all about. Now beyond that, we have the first unit, epithelium. You're always given an image in which some familiar structures are pointed out that you'll be learning. And then you're always given the kind of synopsis of the uh, what you will learn like you will learn about lining and covering epithelium and simple epithelia stratified epithelia pseudostratified stereocilia and glandular epithelia and all the terms and cells associated with it now one thing you have to keep in mind is that we have to move ahead and use organ samples often in order to illustrate and guide you through learning how to identify tissues. And after all, uh, all the organs are composed of four basic tissues, as you should have realized by viewing and listening to the first lecture, the introduction lecture. So moving on now to that first unit, you're always given an overview, which is kind of synopsis, and you're giving uh, what you should be able to identify once you complete this unit. And then after that, the very first page, you're page 17, which is the first page of the epithelium unit in WebMic study guide, you're referred to a specific specimen. In this case, you're referred to the general histology section. Under epithelium, choose the following specimen. So I'm going to go over here and click on the entry page. And then I liked, when I first get there, I like to reduce it all down to those two folders. 
and it says go to general histology so there we go to general histology and then open up the epithelium folder and then find the one that says simple columnar epithelium renal papilla and I'll look over here stain with hematoxin is and that's important to recognize the entire uh, naming of that specimen and then there we have it and you can verify that you are looking at the same image uh, the specimen by seeing the thumbnail over here in the um, study guide and then below that is a table and the table contains all of the structures that you can see that are labeled for the different magnifications. Now the magnification here are, th are three, col three uh, columns 20x, 80x, and 100x. And the way you interpret that over here is you have 5x times 4 is 20x. So that's what this little circle here, this circle, the specimen is magnified 4 times the 5x, which is 20x. And for here, 80x, you'll go to the 20x one times 4 is 80x here, which things become much more clear. And, and then, of course, the final magnification of this specimen is, is 40 times 4 which is 160 and you see that here. Now for all of these specimens you have the the labels that are shown here and uh, and again remember that your guide to this study is is below. Uh, first of all you're given here it looks you are looking in this 80x and 160x images to find examples of these epithelia. And so those epithelia are labeled here. When you choose, if your labels are off, you need to turn the labels on. And as you probably learned in the, uh, the, the tour of WebMic, you can uh, remove the mask and you can see your labels like this. And of course, uh, just to remind you, there are two forms of self-assessment. You can turn everything into a question mark, enjoy yourself. You can also do a multiple choice in which you have a table and then uh, you uh, choose what you think is correct. And of course, that's a simple uh, columnar epithelial nucleus. So on the second, I got it uh, correct. So anyway, that's just a reminder of what you can uh, do there. So I'm going to go back and turn the labels off and go this view and remove the grid and uh, so then I wanted to point out to you that you have here a, another specimen let's find it and so we'll go to the urinary system so see we're jumping over to the organs and in the urinary system we'll find a kidney cortex hematoxin eosin and there it is and so you do the same thing and you'll look in this table and you'll see what's there but your guide to study is this simple text here and then beyond that after you've looked at several specimens you have questions what does the term simple denote when referring to epithelium well it denote, denotes one layer but that's one of the concepts you need to learn combining what you learn in lecture with what you're learning in the web mic study guide so if i move on now past all of this study and that pattern is repeated and you see there are more questions here and then at the very end you have all of the you have another form of self-assessment you have two forms of self-assessment in the web mic uh, program itself label identification and your uh, multiple choice uh, format of questioning and then here you also have a self-assessment and you have the answers to that. What does the term simple denote when referring to epithelium? It means one layer of cells. Now how you organize all of this information is your challenge. We provide you the resources and if you go to pages 12 and 13 I believe in the uh, syllabus you will see what other students have done. Uh, you can, uh, as you're instructed in the web mic tutorial, you can print this. Um, in this particular case, the, the, the print function uh, is, 
is not uh, working for me here and I think it's because of the way I have all this set up here but but if you uh, print this or you can remove this mask and you can actually uh, uh, screen capture this image but the print function will work if you are uh, in the program itself for some reason in this particular venue that I am it's not working but it does work so uh, that pr pretty much concludes the relationship between the WebMic study guide and in the uh, in the course term and structure uh, the course vocabulary list that we are going to provide you to use with the uh, examinations when you have to type in an answer we endeavor to put most of the structures and special things that are highlighted in the WebMic study guide and in WebMic. So uh, I wish you well and uh, remember that if you have questions and don't understand and need help you have the uh, discussion forum on the course website and you have uh, appropriate forums for everything for web mic and for exams for general questions about the course etc etc so once again good luck and uh, hope you get started in the course uh, in a good way